guys, this is Crazy Ninja, and in today's video, I will be reacting ring to episodes 12 and 13 of Yes, Pretty Here 5. So let's go ahead and get started with episode 12 and 3, 2, 1, go. <laughs> yes, how can Urara eat all of that? Like, oh my god, and not gain any weight? Like, oh my god. That's why I, oh my god, in high school, not even high school, all throughout my life, I hated having friends who have, like, really good, um, metabolisms. And they could be like, oh, I can eat anything and not gain weight. And then you have that one friend when you're like, I feel like, oh my god, I feel so fat. And I'm like, really, bitch? You would say that to the one who is overweight. It's the worst, like, triggering thing for me sometimes and such. Because, I, I mean, like, between, like, any of my group of girlfriends from elementary school, even up until now, there has always been, I've had, like, friends who are either have been the same size as me or heavier than me or lighter than me and such. I think we've all can say that we've all had friends like that. But I always hate when someone's like, yeah, oh my god, I feel so fat. I ate too much. And then I'm over here like, this bitch. I'm like, how can you eat anything? Like, okay, I remember, I can't believe I'm about to talk about this. I was in high school and my friend, she was a little chubby. One year when we first met, and then the following year, she got really, really skinny. And I was, I asked her, I was like, what did you do? Because me, I'm like, I used to be skinny, and now I'm not, and I'm trying back to be, like, in the middle of it because I want to be healthy. And I also have a, my mother, you know, always talking about diabetes and shit like that, and I get sick and tired of hearing that conversation. Um, she told me that she used to throw up and I was like I can't do that like no I don't want to do that because that's not good you don't do that and such <laughs> you portion controls and that's what I do now and I don't eat a lot during the day <laughs> mm, true Oh, uh, well, well, right there. Hmm? Your manager? Well, let's thank God it's not a momager. Hmm? <laughs> yeah, you basically brought everything. I mean, knows I mean. Hmm? Is there not a time when you're not here, girl? You always gotta get a damn scoop. But also, continuing what I said, moral of the story, please do not, you know, throw up ish. It's not smart. Do portion control. Work out as many times as you need to. 
Never go on a binge. I mean, even though we still technically in a pandemic, like, uh, we can all agree that we've all gained weight during this pandemic. I know I have. Oh, damn. I was supposed to get something to drink. I'll get it after this episode before our wife's 13. Well, you, my good sir, you are going to probably be terminated. You don't want that, do you? This is your final plan, so don't fuck it up. Knows me, don't do it. Don't do it. Knows me. Oh, God. I mean, maybe like, you know, cutting one of our older, the mommies, something like, oh my god. This might not work, oh my god. <laughs> Huh. Let's hope this works. <laughs>
Oh my god. You just walk on normally. Oh shit! Oh my god! Oh, help her, please! Huh. Honestly, I don't know. Please don't fuck this up, no, Sydney. <laughs> oh, oh my god. You gotta love kids, oh my god! Oh god. Oh. oh god. The tree. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> Maybe even, you know, middle school me thought of this too. Look like a damn Pokemon. <laughs> Hurry. I need in modern day. I need them to be like, mm, we in a costume and put them in a costume and really gotta change to a figure. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh 
I'm going to be laughing about this for a hot minute. Excuse me. I don't know why, but like the dynamic between these two, yeah, you're giving me a lot of like lock and you know, freaking um, grace feels, and I love it. Wait before lock and grace. <laughs> Yeah, how do you know my name? <laughs> clap.
Imagine if she had to say yes, but because <laughs> how the hell would that work? Like, she can't just be like, mm, let me just pop it up back in my head again. Let's try this all over again, you know? But, like, mm. you gotta love how nuts. <laughs> nuts is like, yes, let me take the ball, man. It's like, oh my god. Oh god, I can't. Mm. Yo, Billy said, oh, Deja, you, you had a, your, your Sunday, your Monday, your Tuesday was okay. Here's a hot guy for Wednesday. Like, oh, God. I can't. Like, seriously, how is it that I am more attracted to nuts than Coco? Because they're both fucking Sora and Trunks from two different series that I both love. But I think it's because... Would I, uh, like, it's the voice, probably, like, yeah, it's the voice, because, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Ah, uh, because it, it, cause it's the hottest thing about a freaking Japanese singer when it's a male, because she'd be like, yes, mm-hmm, just talk to me. Like, I can't. That's why sometimes I cannot watch certain shows with a straight face, and I fangirl, and I'm like, when I fangirl, I fangirl a little too much. But you know what? That's okay. Because fangirling is for free. Like, no matter what, you can fangirl about every little freaking thing. Well, damn, Ren, you just got yourself into a really big predicament. Oh, oh, okay. Well, then, you know what? That makes sense. That's very similar to um, Manatsu and how she was like, yeah, I want to join everything. But like, Manatsu, honey, you can't join everything because if so many things happen on one day, like, how are you going to be in umpteen places all at once? You can't do that. And this is very, uh, in a way, the same thing for Rin. If Rin is trying to figure out, like, what she wants to do as, like, a sport, because she is an athletic type type character, it's going to be really hard for her to make a decision on, like, somnly, like, what she wants. Because in the end, everyone else is going to be disappointed in the fact is that she didn't pick them. But, you know, <laughs> this is a very interesting episode for her. In the end, yes, she did shine. Everybody shined so much. But the fact is that her manager expected her to come back. <laughs> And do the exact same thing that she did the day before. Like, no, there is no way in hell she can't do that. Like, the, you, you should have said, no, this is a one and done. Like, this will never happen again. <laughs> like, seriously? <laughs> I can't. Uh, but, yo, yeah, once they got nuts saved the day for the pretty care. <laughs> the romance between these two. Like, oh, my God. It's the one thing I like about this show. 
even like with modern day seasons, like there are times where we're kind of getting like a little bit of romance because, of course, Hagato did that with um, Homare and uh, Harry, and we all wanted something to be there, and you know. The, the fucking sexual tension with him, you could just cut that with a knife because it was there, like, ever since, you know, when he went from this cute little freaking hamster to, like, the most, like, the hottest guy, and you'd be like, oh my god, like, yes, this is what I want. <laughs> no man, like, mm, give me that. <laughs> but I don't want you to transform to a freaking hamster, like, that's crazy. But still, like, this, even in the end, the fact is that they couldn't be together because of the fact is, you know, they're from two different worlds, or even looking at, um, so many other animes that I've watched, even while watching Pretty Cure, where are even like, oh my god, I gotta think of a one. Um, <laughs> uh, the the dungeon series that I watched with Hesia and, and Belkin, like I shipped them for like the longest time, and I still ship them now. And I'm like, I need them to get together, but I understand that you don't want them together because she is the Kami-sama in, in their group. She is the goddess, and so you can't really have your goddess and your main character get together because of reasons, and, you know, it's forbidden, big no-no. But then, you know, you give me cautious hero with fucking, oh my god, fucking say it like, oh uh, but as I was saying before, you know, girl just got reminded of mm, that man. <laughs> I, I mean, in another, in the, okay, this is like big, big spoilers to Cautious Hero, so if you don't really care about this, or, um, if you, if you don't care, continue listening. If you do care, just go ahead and go into the next video. But, um, mm, much, oh god, I'm gonna have to rewatch this damn show. My husband, though, Seiya, and my best girl, Risate, they actually were together and stuff in another life where they were um, both still humans before he died, and she, in the end, became a goddess, and so now that she is a goddess, they can't be together. So in, like, way, way, way before you find that out, and that also she was pregnant and she died, um, there's so many moments... <laughs> In almost every episode where Visite is trying her freaking hardest to, like, seduce Seiya in it. And I'm like, yes, bitch. Like, me in a nutshell. Because, you know, he fine. He got that deep voice. Because, ooh, cause do, do you know who plays him? Oh, my God. Like, mm. if you have not seen the recent Fruits Basket, if you know who Kurino is, like, to see you and then also Akudama Drive with my baby courier and everything I'm sorry that I am fangirling over a lot of my husbandos because like oh, we just need to talk about this can you imagine if I did a freaking video about like literally talking about every single one of my husbandos do you know how long we would be here probably for like six hours that would be worth what the six seven hour stream the very like one of the longest streams that I ever did and it took like three whole days for YouTube to fucking upload that ish. But yeah, I mean other than that, like yeah, that's the thing on Shield Hero. I'm not sure how cautious hero and everything, but still like yes, husbandos are like the best thing about shows because I mean. I, what I truly love about Pretty Cure and other things in general is even though it's like we can't, like I said, they can't be together, they still give us that, like, mm, that chemistry of will they, won't they, and, it's, and you know, in the end it's gonna be like, no, they won't. And it sucks, like, so bad because you want them to be together, but always because of some weird reason. It could be because of family issues and the families don't like each other, so that star cross lovers, whatever, in the end, that they can't really truly be together. And it just mm, breaks my little heart. <laughs> no matter what. But that is always the reason of why we have fan fictions, and specifically smutty good ex reader fan fiction. I'm sorry, but yeah, go ahead and pause. I'm gonna go, go give me something to drink, but go ahead and pause the video, and I will see you guys in one second for episode 13. Okay, episode 13 in 3, 2, 1, go. God damn it.
Yeah, go home early. Mmm. I'm cold. You know, it ain't gonna go that way though because I mean she has so many preview engagements all on one day. Like I can't imagine being in umpteen clubs and then finding out that like everything that you have to do is on the same day sucks. Mm -mm. That is crazy. I shouldn't even be hungry. I hate chicken nuggets. And now I'm even looking at them eating, just want something to eat. But, like, no. I'm not hungry. Mm mm. Seriously, soccer, tennis, what else? Baseball? How much are you doing? No. See, you say that, but the next thing you know, it's going to get lost. Hint, hint, they're going to lose it. We'll play on the same day.
I mean, it's kind of obvious what she's going to choose. She's going to choose soccer because it's in the opening. I'm just saying. Oh, well, No zooming on the side, cheering everywhere. Well, I mean, the thing is, like, when out of the, what, five, she's right. Like, which one do you like the most? You take it from there. Which one do you possibly like to focus on the most? I mean, it is hard. Trust me. Damn, and I do have instant yakisoba. Only if I had more bread, I could literally have it in a sandwich. Oh my god. Uh!
<laughs> oh God, I can't. Mm -hmm. I mean, okay, here's my question that I have, Ren. Why didn't you ever think about taking your brothers to practice with you? But yeah, that's the biggest thing. What are you going to do? He's so cute. My God, precious babies. No! You go play. Nuts and cocoa, oh my god, it's so fucking cute. Now my scene, okay, let me say this. My thing is this. We just finished a Urada focus episode. So why in the world didn't Urada get her transformation first and then have everybody transform? You know, that's okay.
Mm-hmm. You really shouldn't say that because there's too much pressure on someone sometimes. You're telling me your tongue is long enough to like knock a tree down? Oh, oh okay. Okay. Anime, guys. Mm hmm. Excuse me. Mm. <clears throat> Excuse me. Seriously? I mean, plus she were gonna throw the soccer ball at her. I don't. Thank God she caught it in time. I, I know you. You just got a job so you can get money so you can eat, right? But seriously, you could have hurt those kids oh so badly, and you don't give two shits about it. Aww. <clears throat> Once again, Mika just comes in at the worst times. <laughs> Uh. 
I mean, yeah, you might as well because it's <laughs> it's in the opening for a reason. No. Excuse me. Oh my god. Carbonated water. <laughs> oh, poor nuts couldn't save you this time. <laughs> but okay, I am glad that she, you know, finally chose a team. But I think is really because of the fact is not only because of the overheard conversation she heard when she was coming in, but she really enjoyed being with them. And you could tell, I mean, mm, opportunity docket, guys, like, mm. <laughs> but her brother and sister, they're adorable, honestly. I do hope we get to see like a little bit more of them. They're kind of like, um... Was her name Mika? Miko? Akira's little sister. Because <laughs> I'm trying to say here, like, it was one of those names. I, I mean, because, like, you know, with her, I wanted desperately to have more episodes with that child because. In a way, she was kind of a part of Akita's, like, storyline, but not really. Um, mainly, like, Akita's storyline was... Oh, God, Jesus, what was her storyline? Because I barely remember. Not only, you know, the, the relationship of her and Yukari, because that was a thing. Um, mainly about what she wanted to do. Because they, with her, like, from what I remember... They necessarily didn't show at times, like, what she wanted to do, like, as an adult. But I think with the way that she cared about her sister, she wanted to do something really, like, dealing with someone sickly. So then when we found out what her final thought, I, I can't speak, job was, it was like, oh, that makes sense. So, like, literally. But, yeah, I mean, okay. Rin, she's still, once again, an interesting character. I think she, she's not my favorite out of the bunch. Like, of course, that to me, that goes to Cotton. Because, like, it's usually, like, the funny thing is, like, sometimes, like, <laughs> no matter what season it is, I will literally either like the pink, the blue, the sometimes the purple the green the yellow like it, it depends on like who who you can see yourself as and who do you relate to the most out of all of everyone out of all the five the four the three the six <laughs> girls in the series and such or sometimes in some cases I just always like all of them because you know best girls and you know when you got a say you of queens in a show together but Rin really truly shined especially with having an episode that featured her siblings because we haven't really seen her siblings or anything, her family. We saw her mom today, so I'm also waiting to the point where we get to see her dad. But I'm guessing, <clears throat> excuse me, I almost yawned. <laughs> I'm guessing that's not going to come until like way later on to the series. She gives me a lot of um, Elena vibes, like way, 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 way before Elena. Um so many years later before Elena was even thought of but when you look at Rouge and Soleil you can see the the similarities and the differences in a nutshell and such but um I think the the one difference is about them is I don't from what I remember because like Elena wasn't really like into sporty things as much she, I think she kind of was because we know Madoka was the sports fanatic um in the group except hers was more of like traditional sports like the archery and everything and Elena with hers it was just like she had a soccer based move and such but not to the point where it, it's like immediately like when you think of Rouge and stuff like that because I, I think like even when the time when this show was airing um I had always kind of thought that like usually the red one um, would always be like the sporty one and even now that's not the case because look at freaking March <laughs> my <laughs> my god dang it <laughs> my lovely doubly 
<laughs> my child, <laughs> my enemy, enemy. Attack! <laughs> Attack! Damn it! Um, how like you you can't just assume that because of their color they're gonna be this and that and the third. Yes, usually always like the pink one is always sometimes. Usually not the smartest one of the bunch. Not all the time, but sometimes. Because usually, uh, like, in my opinion, and I also can, I think I can speak for a lot of people on this, with the pink one being the main character and the resident of the person of view or point of view we're supposed to see through their eyes, a lot of people can relate to the pink one a lot and such. There are times where, like, no matter how many freaking times I've watched this damn series, you know, that in some way, shape, or form always can relate to the pink one. More or less, I usually sometimes relate to the older type characters, so like Cotton, like Yukari. Um, I think if we want to say now for, like, Tropical Rouge, I think I'm a little light. I'm, a, I'm, I'm hella like Laura. Because... <laughs> I can be a little bit stuck up sometimes. We all know that, I think. Um, I think, honestly, really, I'm a little bit of all five girls from Tropical Rouge because I, I get, sometimes I can act like a dummy when, if I'm confused or something like that and I don't understand something and I'm like, but what, is it like this? And I'm like, no, it's completely like that. But it's just when you get to see someone, like going back to Star Twinkle, when you get to see someone who looks like you, um that's when you know you truly made it think about like okay whatever um what what your race is currently and think about when you were a kid and you're watching tv and you see someone who looks like you and how happy you would get and you would tell your friends, not really your friends but maybe like your parents and say like oh my god like there is either a guy or a girl specifically probably you know 50 out of 50 it could be either one and you're saying like you know mom dad like she he she whoever looks like me and such it's funny because even like okay um there's just one show that i still watch on regular television called like the flash and i remember this little girl <laughs> i was on twitter one day just scrolling and i um one of my friends like retweeted something and it was this little girl like crying over um the actress who plays iris west allen candace patton and crying to her mom and being happy about the fact just like oh my god there there's someone who looks like me on television and we're even getting that still in modern day with elena being the first like hispanic um pretty cure and up to years it pays like even when I when we watched the show when we got to the end of it it paves the way of like okay we're possibly going to see this or that I, I would love to see them go into different like um ethnicities race whatever for this because it's just like okay we, the one thing I think a lot of people what they love about anime is they can almost like see themselves into the character that's the same thing about reading when you're reading a book or something like that you um relate to the character a lot and I think we can all agree that it happens to us and like anything that we watch read or consume in media generally especially like if one of your favorite singers or rappers or whatever even in like k-pop music or even k-pop dramas did I say k-pop dramas oh my god k-dramas Khadija oh my god mm. Deja <laughs> um you always find someone that you can relate to someone who is like when you are dealing with like a hard time or a rough time and like something you know comes and gets you out of that rut and such it's happened to all of us whether it's something good or whether it's something bad and you're always truly grateful about either the impact that that character or that series or that Book, whatever has left on you so I mean yeah that's the one other many things that I love about pretty cure and anime in general but yeah other than that guys that is my reaction review towards episodes 12 and 13 of yes pretty cure 5 if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like really helps me out also subscribe to my channel and make videos every single day join the master squad and of course I will see you guys officially all next Monday for everybody else and next Friday for <laughs> patreons for episodes 14 and 15 Bye, guys.